Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today we're gonna be playing some Kuzumbo. And we're up against Soul. So, I mean, it should be a pretty fun game. Uh, most important thing is that I don't die in the early game. Whoops. Okay, so let's start off with a tier two Bancrofts into this, that, and either a blink or a shell or something of the sort. Blink's kind of nice, but um, yeah, I'll go blink. I think blink's a good idea here. And let me make sure everything else is open. Okay. Yeah, Kuzbo, basically we're just going to be building him for super late game as usual. Um, okay. uh, with Bumba's Hammer, which gives Kuzumbo kind of infinite cooldown resets with the two. So that's what we're going to be trying to do. I hope you guys all have been doing good the past few days. All right, she's got mannequins, Bancrofts, which is pretty standard. Um, I'm just going to come over here and kill this minion because she didn't kill it. That way we stay even in golden XP. Oh, cool. She kind of got a lot of poke from those minions. Yeah, my three won't be able to kill her because I'm maxing my one. I'm not going to be able to push her into the wave that often. So that's why I'm opting to max my one first. Okay, hold on. Luckily, in a weird way, her going mannequins is kind of good for me later on because that gives me more procs for my two. Oh, are you still in my blue buff? I'm okay with you going for red, but not my blue buff. 100% not my blue buff. Oh, wow. That's so annoying. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's one thing to go for blue buff, but if you're going... Or, I mean, it's one thing to go for red buff, but if you're going for my blue buff, that is so annoying without red buff even being taken yet. There's no way you get red also, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, if she got red also, that would have been... Losing all three buffs at the beginning of the game. That would have been absolutely awful. They're also using streamer mode. Like, I'm not the one using streamer mode. They are, so I don't know who they are. Could be Rando or could be a Masters player. No clue. Streamer mode was one of the things implemented to Smite in the worst way possible. The idea of streamer mode's good, but the way it was implementing is just, it's just not good. Oh, I tried blinking. Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, that kind of sucks. Like with streamer mode, when it first was getting implemented, I thought the entire point would be to confirm that it's actually someone streaming, like someone live, either using the Twitch API or something, because it's definitely possible to do that, right? Um, and then giving them access to tools like that. But instead, streamer mode was kind of turned into something that everybody started using. So then they had to nerf it in a way where basically if you had streamer mode on, you couldn't see anyone else's username, which is fair enough. But then it kind of got to the point where it's like, okay, well, now streamers, there's no point for them to use it. Nobody shamed me. It's just kind of odd. Not to mention it doesn't really help against like Q sniping and stuff. Yeah, I'm 0-2 right now. I'm trying not to get too negative about it. Because even though I'm against the soul, like if I were 
any other guardian right now, uh, I would be pretty upset. But I'm, I'm Kuzubo. I'm chilling. As long as I've got my tower, I'm still okay. As long as I've got Phoenix, I'm still okay. Because as, basically, as long as we get the late game, you know, everything's, everything's good. Uh, I think I will go a... She went that. I might go a Bulwark or a Pestilence. I haven't decided yet. Pestilence would be nice against uh, Souls healing. Souls has way too much healing for her own good. Oh, she stole my blue buff again. That's a nice little bounce you can do with Kuzumbo if you're coming back to lane. Just right here. It'll hit the archers twice, which will clear them. All right, now I might start leveling up my two, believe it or not. That way I can get the cooldown on my one faster. Oh, I should have ulted right away. My mistake. Oh, wow. You took that, like, instantly with mannequins, didn't ya? Oh, my lord, dude. Fighting soul is not fun. She's already two levels ahead of me, and keeps taking every buff in the world. Ah, she takes my... She takes my tower. Now she's going to go take Demon King. Your middle tower has Not much I can do about it currently. Looking good as always. Not much I can do about it. Just kind of play it safe. But yeah, with her with her about to go take Demon King next, it's... Uh, this is tough. This is tough. Now I'm, now I'm too far behind. I'm going to go put a ward right on Demon King so maybe I can blink steal it. Like that's a is a good opportunity for that. Okay, okay. Looks like she's going to demonic or hecate or something. That's not annoying at all. Push her through the wave. Push you through the wave again. How did I get stuck on those minions? Dang. And she's not dead because she's got Bancrofts. Luckily, there's no minions left. Um, I'm out of mana. <laughs> so, uh, this, this just is bad all around. Your is under I mean, I lose every single minion to the Phoenix. Which that absolutely sucks plus my blue buffs coming up and i won't be able to defend that yeah i say we go for a pestilence just because i'm already behind and i need anti-heal sooner rather than later so kind of gonna have to go for that i'm gonna put another point in my three now I'm surprised I was even able to push her through the wave twice there. That usually doesn't happen too often against Soul because they're kind of staying away from minions or clearing the minions instantly with their auto attacks or whatever, you know. There's Hecate. Such a weird item to say. Ow. And she's back to full health. <laughs> yeah, I know. Trying to win this game, it's, it's going to be difficult. I got to get to level 20. Got to get to level 20 without her taking my, my Phoenix. If she takes my Phoenix, I'm level 19. That's okay. But if I'm only like level 16 or something, then no. Okay, then let's get like a Typhons. 
I'm gonna try to slow down her build a bit. Oh wait, I shouldn't have gotten. Oh no. Well, I have my obviously see me all. I didn't realize she was waiting for her rug too. That's her beads. But well, you know, beads for blink. It's always worth, but uh, because beads is longer to cooldown, but still. <laughs> Normally, I would cancel my three in situations like that, but because she was one hit away, I just had to CC her long enough to let the Nene get his punch off, right? Like, normally, I'd cancel the three once they're in the wall to, like, auto-attack or whatever. But since I was low, too, it's like, well, she's dead to Nene. No use risking it, right? Because there is a chance that she ends up killing me because of her insane healing. So, also, I, I didn't really go into detail on this, but the reason I'm going Bancroft's Typhons to quote-unquote slow down her build is to kind of force her into anti-heal. I don't know. I feel like when I'm behind and I go Bancroft's and Pestilence and I'm, like, really far behind, just just getting something to force them to build something else than, like, full damage and, like, Telekines. Because right now, I don't want her getting Telekines yet. I will need cooldown. I need something with 10% cooldown to finish my build. Soul gem could be kind of hype, but it really depends. I don't have my ward set up. I don't know if she knows that. But uh, yeah, if she tries to go for my for red butt or for demon king, I cannot, you know, defend it. Also, she's gonna take that instantly because mannequins is a cool item. Plus, Typhons give some pen as well. Oh, wow, she lived. Oh, wow, she lived. That is so unfortunate. I didn't have my thorns up either, so I couldn't, like, confirm the kill. All right, let's get Typhons. Then I'm going to get Soul Jam. Because again, we're building into Bombas where we're spamming a ton of item or we're spamming a bunch of abilities. Also, so glad she got Shell instead of Horrific. I could have dealt with the Horrific because I do have an escape. I do have uh, my ultimate. And I mean, my two gives me my three back so fast. So it wouldn't have been that bad. But definitely, you know, could be problematic. A little bit. Whereas Shell, kind of easy to play around once I get Bombas. You still got that, huh? Maybe I should go into Divine before Soul Soul Gem. Yeah, I definitely should go into Divine first. And your left click's pretty cool, Soul. <laughs> well, now she could take Demon King. But now she can't. Uh, yeah, let's get divine. I love the smell of a new piece. Still want something with 10% cooldown, whether it's soul gem or something else. We'll see. If she's getting anti heal now, going triple life still might not be the best idea. But I mean, soul gem's so fun with spamming abilities. So I don't know. Nobody shams me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I tried to go a uh, weird pathing right because I heard her on Demon King and she was obviously on it, but nope. <laughs> Try to catch her out. All right, let's just place this. I should have placed it right away, but okay, let's get tier two. Hopefully, she doesn't go straight for Demon King. Otherwise, I have to leave before getting my item. We're almost level 18, which is when we start saving for Demon King, right? 
Oh, please don't take my blue buff again. You've taken it like 10 times this game. Please, soul. That's her three. Too bad my blink's down. <laughs> when I was trying to sneak around Demon King. The fact that she hasn't taken Demon King, it, it absolutely blows my mind, by the way. Wow. Wow, even with my thorns. Even with my thorns. Mannequins did 444 damage. That is a starter item. Wow, that sucks. God, I hate mannequins. Well, I'm level 16 and my Phoenix is down. Remember when I said if I lose Phoenix at level 16, that would be bad? Well, now we're in this situation. Level 17 now, though. Moving on up in this world. But really, what really did me in was the fact that she kept taking my blue buff. But, I mean, I'm only one level behind. In reality, I should be, like, three levels down. But I'm only one level down, which is amazing. God, she clears wave so fast. Isn't there a physical defense item that gives 10% cooldown? No. Oh, there's one minion. That's so annoying. One minion. <laughs> okay, she's not going for Titan, though. Okay, cool. I'm still going to go Soul Gem. I think. Best way for me to get a power spike with my Typhons, you know, since I already have Typhons. Plus to get my cooldown. Souls 3 is so good in this matchup. Okay, once I'm level 18, I should start saving for Bombos, though. The fact that I don't have any cooldown and I'm able to push her through the wave twice is already pretty cool. I want to apply Divine Ruin to her. Alright, that's her beads. I still have my blink, which is awesome. Also, my Phoenix is about to come up right now. Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's a little bit. <laughs> that's a little bit longer for Phoenix. Come on, come on, come on. Don't let her take it. Don't let her take it. No, I got stuck on minions. Yes! Yes, please don't die, Phoenix, please don't die. No! No, Phoenix. Oh, this is so sad. That would have been the perfect fight. I got stuck on those minions a little bit, which made me have to... It made me take more damage than I should have, and then I couldn't, like... I couldn't properly defend it. Damn, that was close. That was close, though. But look at my level. Look at my level. And remember, we're going Bomba's Hammer. One of the most broken items in the game. But you have to wait until level 20. 
Whereas mannequins you can buy right away. I mean, I should have enough gold for it. Did I not save, right? I probably... I, I guess I didn't. I No, I, sh I should get uh, 400 gold right when I hit with 20. Uh, the fact that she took that Phoenix was really unfortunate, though. Okay, we just need to not die, please. Oh, she got Hidden Blade. She got Hidden Blade, which means I need to keep her in combat. <laughs> Otherwise, I take a dumb amount of damage. That actually did not do that much damage to me. Okay, hit, I didn't get the Hidden Blade. That was the Hidden Blade. Okay, can you stop? Okay. I just lost the game, basically. Which is super cool. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Yes. Okay. Where's my Phoenix at? Oh, man. I need to go back and heal. I need to go back and heal. I'm also going to buy a power potion. And I'm going to buy a mana chalice. And that might be weird. But the mana chalice is because I don't have much mana sustain right now. And I... Ah, uh, dude. No, I don't even know. I need wards. I need wards too, though. There's honestly not much I could do. If I push up, I, I could lose the game if I'm not defending Fien uh, Titan. But if I don't push up, I can always also lose. So I'm actually swapping out my health chalice because I don't need my health chalice as much anymore. Uh, yeah, for my mana chalice. This is, again, this is super weird, but it's because I don't have any MP5 in my build and Kuzbo runs out of mana super fast. Okay, I know where she is. That's the most important thing. So I, I know she's in lane right now. Place a ward over there too. Okay, this bad. Phoenix is up. Uh, Phoenix is up. I need to keep it up, but no, it's not worth it. It's not worth it if I die and lose the game. Uh, oh, that's so unfortunate. My Titan healed a little bit. My Titan healed a little bit. It was just kind of a bad engagement, to be honest. It was just kind of a bad fight, which is okay. God, that hidden blade's so annoying because it actually slows me. There we go. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now we can push. Now we can push because we have minions. Yes. Okay, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Hell, I might even try to go for this, even though her fire minions are beating my minions up. Okay, use our... I, I should have been using my mana shells the entire time. My bad. I bought it, and I haven't been using it. Okay. Maybe should have taken red buff, but I got most of her phoenix. Which is pretty damn good. Eh, we're just gonna buy this, so I don't have to keep buying wards. Okay, now she might get desperate and she might try to go for the back door, which again uh, is the most likely situation. So I'm gonna try to put deeper wards. We can have blue buffs also nice. No, she's actually in lane right now. Yeah.
Should have used my other abilities first. Yes! Yes! Come on! Oh, this game is so damn close. Also, Hidden Blade is doing so much damage to me because it's physical damage as well. That's why it's hitting pretty damn hard. I might as well hover over Hidden Blade. It's got such a long passive if you guys want to read that or not. Okay. Oh my god, I'm, I'm not using my Mana Chalice again. <laughs> I, I almost never buy Mana Chalice, so it's like going against what I'm used to. This is just one of those rare situations where I think it makes sense. I'm not even going to take blue buff because if I get caught out, it's not worth it. Okay, now let's upgrade this. Let's upgrade this. And now we're pretty much just saving up for a 3k pot. I don't have to buy wards because I've got this. I don't have to buy mana potions, so I'm, I'm pretty much good. She does have double anti-heal, so I could even consider swapping out uh, Typhons for like Rotatuity or something. It would give me like the same amount of damage, but more so when she's low health. Done. You're done. Your escape's down. Oh, you're done. What a close game. Oh, that has to be one of the closest Kuzubo games I've ever had. Now, normally, I know when to F6 against Soul because usually when she gets super ahead and there's not much comeback potential, but there's always comeback potential with Bumbo's Hammer Kuzubo. It was funny because actually when I was defending my Titan there, I actually 100% thought I lost in my mind. <laughs> well, not a hundred percent. I mean, I thought there was a slight chance with Bumbus Hammer, but I, I didn't. The reason I didn't F six was mostly, or not. The reason I didn't F six was because of Bumbus Hammer. However, I was thinking in my mind that it's like you know people have been telling me lately that only upload wins, and I was like, well, if this is a loss, I'm still gonna upload it, right? Because I, I guess not. But then it, I mean, we turned it around. That's insane. That's insane. I would say the souls bit if the soul really wanted to win she, sh she needed to be taking more buffs like she was taking my blue buff a lot but she actually wasn't taking her blue buff and red buff was also up for quite a bit of time before it was taking and then minis i don't think she was taking very often too and that's why at that one there was a point in the game where i was level 16 and she was level 17 i think it was i was only one level down and at that point i had already lost tower i was losing about to lose phoenix hadn't even gotten her tower anything like that so that bad what an insane game if i were to change my build by the way i think since she had double anti-heal at that point the life still is not that good swapping out typhons for rod of tutti would have been good or also maybe getting some something with magical and physical defense like stone of foul or something because of uh, that hidden blade was hitting so hard there's so much uh physical damage but um, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed that game, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.